Yeah. Go. All right. So we're going to show you how to use the pressure temperature chart to find out what refrigerant is in the recovery cylinder. Sometimes it's mislabeled, like this one here says R414A, but it's all the way back from 2008. There might have been another piece of tape written on it. Uh, comparisons to the PT chart here are only valid if the pressure and temperature is known and the refrigerant tank is stable. Okay, so we got to know what the temperature of the tank is, and it can't come from a one environment like outside where it might be 40 degrees and then come inside where it's 70 degrees and we can't take a reading until it equalizes to the room temperature of 70 degrees. So take a thermometer reading with infrared and we're looking right at about 70, 68 to 70 degrees. So if I match that with 70 degrees here on the PT chart, 70 degrees, there's all my pressure readings. So I'd expect to find if it's 414A, uh, reading of about 70 PSI because that's pretty close to R12 refrigerant. But if it's not 414A, it'll line up with one of these other uh, pressure readings on the PT chart. So we'll take the gauge and we'll record our vapor pressure. So we got to look. This one's vapor, blue on this tank. Take off our cap. Hook up our red hose. Make sure the gauge is closed. We do not need the gauge open. Make sure the hose is tight and then get our reading. All right, and we are at about 105, right, right about 117 ish, 115 to 117. So at 68 degrees, we're going to have to go up. We're at 70 degrees. And the closest one is 121 PSI, which is about right. So if we were at 68 degrees, it'd be about 117 PSI on that there with this with this ESCO PT chart. This is the chart if you're taking the ESCO test that you're going to have to use. We could also use this to find out if we have a tank of mixed refrigerant or non-condensables. So we'll do the same thing over here with another tank. We'll close this one off. That's de minimis release. That's okay. We have another tank, it says R22 on it, but it also says this tank could be used for 410A refrigerant. So we'll do the same thing, take a temperature reading. This is a little bit closer to 70. Find the vapor valve, which is this one up here. Hook up the red hose to it again. Make sure everything's tight. Open the valve and get a pressure reading. And this reading is reading 290 PSI. So 70 degrees, 290 PSI. So we're looking at 70 degrees here. And I don't have any refrigerant that is 290 PSI. So this tank is mixed. This is a mixed refrigerant or more than likely there's air, a non-condensable mixed in with this tank. So the air is taking up most of the space and creating a higher pressure situation because they somehow got air into the tank. Maybe the system that they were recovering had a leak and it sucked air in when they were trying to get down to the required vacuum. So that's how you can use the PT chart to find out what refrigerant is in the tank or if you have a tank of mixed refrigerant.